There, that ought to do it. It'll work now, Freddy. I sure hope so, Charlie. That cuckoo clock has been handed down in my family from generation to generation. Yeah, too bad this generation had to drop it. <laughs> but it's okay now. Listen. Good morning. Today's weather will be mild with gentle winds from the northeast. At present, the temperature is 72 degrees and will rise to a comfortable 74. I will return in exactly one hour. In the meantime, have a happy 60 minutes. Oh, thank you. Gosh, Charlie, that's great. Before you fixed it, all it ever said was cuckoo, cuckoo. Well, as long as I was at it, I thought it could use a little improving. Charlie, I guess you know just about everything. Sure, but I'm not your average wise owl. Uh, if you'd rate your wise owls on a scale of one to a hundred, I'd be right up there at the very top. And now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to get home and correct the encyclopedia. Hi, Charlie. Hi. Oh, careful. Uh, the category is high. The highest mountain in the world is Mount Everest in the Himalayan range. Goodbye. What was that all about? Isn't it amazing, Doug? There's just nothing Charlie doesn't know. Oh, I don't know about that. No one knows everything. Charlie does. He told me so. <laughs> and he's never wrong. It may be true that Charlie has memorized a bunch of isolated facts, but that's not real knowledge. Real knowledge is worth a lot more. What Charlie knows is worth a lot, too. Why, I've seen people win a lot of money on those TV quiz shows by knowing those kind of things. Charlie is a lot smarter than they are. Freddie, believe me, there are a lot of things that Charlie doesn't know. <laughs> Doug, there is one thing Charlie surely doesn't know. What's that? He doesn't know that I'm going to enter his name in the TV telephone quiz show. The TV telephone quiz show? You mean the one where they ask you three questions, and if you answer them correctly, you get a big prize? That's it. And when Charlie wins all that money and a year's supply of candy, then you'll believe me. I'll send in his name right away. He can't miss. Let's see. Charlie. Mm. C. H. P. A. 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 R. R. La 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 It's the news to review Coming right at you With three delightful animals Have fun with what they do They learn with their friend Doug And his helper Emmy Joe With Freddy Charlie We have fun learning what we don't know Delicate and feminine is Henrietta Hippo. Very wise and very smart is Charlie the Owl. Woo! Not so smart with lots of heart is Freddy the Frog. It's quite an unusual thing. The animals talk and sing with Doug and Emmy Joe. Every day's a different show. It's the news to review. Coming right at you. It's the news to review. Gee, Henrietta, come to think of it, I don't know why they call angel food cake angel food cake. Do you? No, but I know mine tastes heavenly, especially my traditional old southern recipe. 25 dozen eggs, 200 pounds of flour, 100 pounds of sugar. 100 pounds of sugar? 200 pounds of flour? Where'd you get that recipe anyway? From my Confederate Army cookbook. Well, no wonder it makes a recipe big enough to feed a whole army. I should say so. Last May, a whole afternoon. Hi, Anne, Henrietta. Hi, where are you going? Well, I promised Freddie I'd mail this letter for him. Oh. Who in the world would Freddie have to write to? Well, believe it or not, Freddie entered Charlie as a contestant in that TV telephone quiz contest. The one where they call you on the phone and ask you three questions? Oh, I know. I watch it all the time. And if you answer the three questions correctly, you get a whole year's supply of candy. <laughs> oh, and some money, too. A whole bunch of it, I think. That's the one. Well, I'd better hurry and mail this letter. See you later. Bye-bye. Mmm, boy, I can taste some of that candy right now. Now, Henrietta, don't count your candy bars before they're won. What if Charlie misses the three questions? Misses the questions? Are you kidding? Charlie the Owl knows everything. You know, Freddy, you're not so dumb yourself. I know a good <laughs> thing when I see it, and that's all you have to know. Charlie, my boy, hello. Low. The category is low. The lowest point in the United States is Death Valley. But for the lowest spot, it records the highest temperatures. It's a geographical fact. Amazing. That's 
really amazing. Sure it is. That's why Charlie is going to win. Win. The category is win. The winningest sports team in history is the Los Angeles Lakers basketball team, who won 33 games in a row to shatter the old mark held by the New York Giants baseball team, who won 26 straight games. See, I told you, Charlie knows everything, and he makes it sound as easy as pie. Pie, the largest pie in the world was baked at Swamp City County Fair in 1969. It was 25 feet deep, 4 feet wide, and 2 tons of blueberries were used for the filling. Gosh, Henrietta, who baked it? My cousin Hortense, and she ate it all herself. That was another record. <laughs> record. The biggest seller of any record to date is Irving Berlin's White Christmas, which sold over 20 million copies. Oh, I just love Bang Crosby. Crosby. Bing Crosby's recording of this song accounted for nearly 11 million records alone. His brother Bob's big noise from Winnetka didn't do too good, though. Shh, Charlie. Don't let all those facts out now. Save them for the TV telephone quiz show. Don't worry, there's a lot more where that came from. Why, I've got a million facts at my wingtips. Gosh, Charlie, you are so smart. I just can't believe it. You know so much. Well, I don't like to brag, but I know all there is to know. Yes, I know everything. Everything? Everything. Go on, simply ask me a question. Oh, what is everything? Times 36. 288. Now, wasn't that quick, huh? What is 12 plus 42? 54. See, there's nothing I can't do. Wow. I know all the answers to any question. I can hold up under any inspection. I know what makes airplanes fly, rockets blast off, birds fly in the sky. Know how to design cars and trains. There's nothing I don't know. How to explain, I know all the important stuff. With my quest for knowledge, I'll never get enough. Ooh. I'm the smartest person I've ever met. My brain's full of knowledge, on that I'll make a bet. Where would you be without people like me swimming around? A little tadpole in a big sea. Come on, Freddy, I'll show you. a mistake. Emmy Joe's right, Charlie. You could be wrong just one little old time. Listen, girls, in my whole life, I was only wrong once, and that's when I thought I was wrong. So even then, I was right. Oh, <laughs> see you later, Charlie. <laughs> Come on, Henrietta. <laughs> wow, you're a gold mine of information, Charlie. Yep, there's gold in them there facts, too. And when that TV telephone quiz guy calls me, he can just send the prize right on over. He can't ask me anything I don't know. It's a waste of time to even go through with it. Well, you can't back out now, Charlie. I mailed the letter, and it's on its way. Back out. From a sure thing like this, I can handle that quiz man with one wing tied behind my back and still have plenty of answers left over. Well, we'll certainly find out once and for all once that phone call comes. Oh, we know now, Doug. Charlie can't miss. He knows everything. I even knew you were going to say that. See, Doug? He can't lose. <laughs> have you talked to Charlie lately? Talked to him? Who can talk to him? All he ever does is spout facts. Did you know that the Earth is 248,000 miles away from the moon? Well, it is if it hasn't moved <laughs> since an hour ago when Charlie told me exactly the same thing. Oh, boy, I sure wish that TV telephone quiz man would hurry up and call and get this whole thing over well, with. Then maybe Charlie would go back to being his old self again. 
You know, Charlie, you really look smart. I'll bet you thought I was just another pretty face. When did you first find out you were so brilliant? Hmm, my first clue was the day I was hatched. Instead of breaking out of my egg like your ordinary wise owl, I fashioned a small French doorway and stepped through it. That was pretty smart, all right. But that wasn't all. As I stepped through the doors, I recited a famous passage from Shakespeare. To break or not to break? That is the question. <laughs> See that? My first question, and already I had the answer. Don't break. You must have done great in school. Yes, actually, the teachers did learn quite a bit from me. I set education forward about 50 years. I went through six grades. Six grades? That's not much. True, but after recess, I went through the last six grades. <laughs> of course, college was much harder. It took me a whole week, but then college degrees don't come easily. That's wonderful. Then what did you do? Well, I'll tell you, Freddy. In a secret place in Washington, D.C., there's a huge computer, larger than this whole neighborhood. In that computer is stored every single fact known in the whole wide world. You've seen it? Seen it. <laughs> I taught that computer everything it knows. Hi, Freddy. Charlie. Say, listen, Charlie. Uh, say, hi. that's a nice shirt, Doug. Oh, thank you, Charlie, but that's not what oh, I can... Oh, that's a cotton shirt. Yeah, cotton. Uh... The cotton gin was invented by Eli Whitney, and that shirt was put together by a sewing machine. The sewing machine was invented by Elias Howe. Charlie, that's exactly what I want to talk to you about. Your shirt? No, facts. Look, Charlie, there's more to knowledge than just a bunch of isolated facts. Is that a fact? Of course it is. Well, that's because no one can know everything, Charlie. Even you. He can't? No, of course not. No one knows everything. No one knows everything. Why, with all the facts that there are, every place you turn, it's impossible for someone to really learn all there is to know, cause no one knows everything. No one knows everything. Knowing doesn't mean just scientific facts and equations. It's also knowing what you're going to do in any given For instance, Charlie, what would you do if, if Freddy fainted right now? Well, I'd, uh, I'd give him some smelling salt. <laughs> well, that's pretty good, but uh, what would you do if, well, he was, we were both freezing cold? Well, I'd, uh, I'd, I'd go stand by the fire and have a talk. No one knows everything. No one knows everything. Douglas, my boy, I agree with you. As a rule, no one person does know everything. But there's an exception to every rule, and I'm that exception. That may be your chance to prove it right now, Charlie. Charlie! Charlie! Telephone! Telephone! Ooh. It's the TV telephone quiz man! Oh, my! Oh, my! A whole year's supply of candy! Oh, I can taste it right now! Hello, this is Freddy, Charlie's friend. He'll be here in a moment. Don't go away. How do I look? Oh, great, great. great. Go get him, champ. Charlie's here and feeling dandy. Ask the question, then send the candy. Uh, question number one. Right. <laughs> What's that? How high is up? Up, you say. Well, uh, factoring in the equation of the moon, and of course the moon is about 250,000 miles away, but only during the night. Uh, and now the sun, on the other hand, uh, well, uh, could we skip that one for the moment and go on to the next? Got to keep them off balance. Uh, oh, what's that? Oh, can't skip around? 
Have to take them all in order? Well, all right, all right. Now, uh, um, if that's the way you want to play it, okay. Now, uh, um, would you repeat the question? How high is up? Same question, huh? Uh, well, let me see. Up what? Uh, oh, only five seconds. Oh, oh wait, wait a minute. Uh, I, I'll tell you what. I'll figure it out, and I'll send the answer first thing in the morning. Honest, I will, and it'll be the correct answer, too, because Charlie the Owl is always right. Uh, hello? 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 What happened? There goes my candy. Don't feel too badly, Charlie. Nobody knows everything. It's okay. No, it isn't okay. He blew oh, all that Freddy. money. What about the candy? How could you miss that question? Everybody knows the answer to that one. How high is up? Why, it's twice as far as halfway up. Sure, everybody knows that. See, Charlie, that's what happens when you get in over your head. Oh, boy, am I embarrassed. The least you could have done was stop me before I sent in your name. You mean nobody's seen Charlie since his phone call? No, he just won't come out. He's really taken this thing pretty hard. I feel so sorry for him. Sorry for him? What about me? I laid my good reputation on the line, and he couldn't even get one out of three questions. Now, wait a minute. Charlie doesn't know everything. It was a tough lesson to learn, all right, but I think Charlie has finally learned it. That's right. Learn what? That knowledge is more than just a bunch of facts we learn from books. We learn from everything and everybody. We never stop learning. Well, even when we finish school? Even then. Because we learn things from what goes on around us, like oh, how to run a business, or how to be a part of a family, or how to be a responsible citizen. Charlie knows how to be a responsible citizen. He's responsible for losing all that money. And a year's supply of candy! You know, Freddie and Henrietta, it's not Charlie's fault. No, he's right. I am responsible. I guess I thought I knew everything, but I didn't. Hey, listen, let's help build Charlie's confidence again. Let's ask him some questions that we know he'll know the answers to. That way it'll make him feel better. What do you say, Freddie? Come on. Well, well okay, really? Doug. How do we know what he knows? I'm afraid I let you all down. Oh, uh, no, you didn't, Charlie. Hey, what president is Washington, D.C. named after? I'm not sure anymore. I'm not sure of anything. Charlie? Who is buried in Grant's tomb? Gosh, Emmy Joe, I'll go look it up. Oh, Charlie, you just can't let this quiz show get you down. This is the kind of experience that you should learn from. That's what we've been trying to tell you, Charlie. Oh, I think I understand, Doug. Sure, I always was a good student. That's one of the wonderful things about life, Charlie. We can keep on learning, no matter how old we get or how much we know. That's, That's right. right. There's more knowledge out there than we could possibly know. Let's keep our minds open and willing to grow. There are things about ourselves that we don't understand. Let's look deep inside and find out all we can. Know and grow, grow and know. That you don't know all there is to know Know and grow, grow and know That you don't know all there is to know about each other that are still a mystery there are hidden talents and untapped ability there's more knowledge out there than we could possibly know let's keep our minds open and willing to grow know and grow grow and know that you don't know
I know what I didn't know before, which is that I don't know everything. That's a good thing to know. That's it. I win 650 to your combined score of 85. Don't rub it in, Charlie. I'm glad you're back to your old self. You're smart, but you're not a know-it-all. Well, don't get the idea I'm a dummy. My IQ is still bigger than your waistline. <laughs> I'll eat to that. I thought you were watching your weight. That's true, and I want it right out there where I can see it. Oh, by the way, Charlie, I haven't told you. We did get a consolation prize from the TV telephone quiz people. Really? What was it? Well, I'm not so sure you'd like to have it. Well, Freddie, what was it? A salami? A bowling ball? A world book of facts. Oh, the world book of facts. Yeah, do you know that book? <clears throat> know it? I wrote it. A great hobby. Took me a week and a half. Why, I could have done it in a weekend, but I was writing a set of encyclopedias at the same time. I did A through M in the afternoon and then went dancing. Oh, Charlie! <laughs> I was just kidding. <laughs> well, I shouldn't get mad at you anyway. After all, you did fix my cuckoo clock for me. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Anybody have the right time? Oh, cuckoo. La, 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 la. It's a new series coming right to you. Ah, it's quite an unusual thing. The animals talk and sing. We've got to get any joke. Every day's a different show. It's the new series coming right to you. It's the new series.